guess what? I freaking won Drake concert tickets. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see Drake in New York. Home hanging on my neck. The brace and matches are set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the neck. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respects. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, who am I? Drake is performing in New York, so I downloaded the little app thingy to try to win tickets. And I already entered yesterday, but today's a new day, so I'm gonna try to enter again. But I don't know how, like, when it's gonna pop up. They're playing little baby right now. I don't know. I'll try again later. Guys, don't mind my appearance to look a hot mess, but tell me. Okay, let me tell you how to date really fast. It's November 3rd. Guess what? I freaking won Drake concert tickets. <laughs> I'm going to New York next week. I'm so excited. I'm on the phone with Keon because <laughs> nobody else is answering it's like in eight days like i don't even know what's going on i'm so excited i found out at work so i was at work and i was looking at my email and it was like you won bitch I <laughs> i'm so excited it's like it's really hitting me now that i really won so yeah i'm gonna see drake in new york excited my vlog <sighs> guys we're gonna go see drake tomorrow i know this is crazy i literally was talking about Try to win tickets to this concert and win my vlogs. I'm gonna play the clip. Well, we have already seen a clip. So it's January 20th. It's Friday. It's 11 11 right now. And we're gonna go see Drake tomorrow. I want tickets to go see Drake, and my mom's coming with me. Yeah, it's at Apollo Theater. We're lit. I'm so excited. If y'all know me, y'all know. Bro, Drake has been my favorite artist for so freaking long. I'm so freaking excited. I don't even understand. And it's crazy because I was supposed to go originally November 11th, but they canceled it. And then they got rescheduled for December 6th. And then canceled again and now we're finally here we're about to go see him i'm so excited i'm really excited like i'm so genuinely excited and i kept i don't know it's been taking me a minute to get really excited because they kept canceling it so i was like oh, i'm not even that excited but now when they sent a confirmation email i was like oh this is really happening like i'm really about to go see Drake tomorrow I look crazy but i'm in the car i'm driving for the first like two three hours of course we're sending Drake the whole way because duh but i was sending Drake all the time anyways it's not really that big of a difference so i went to my mom and then we're gonna go i'm so excited i love new york so much so freaking much i don't know why i paused for that long but i really do love new york so i'm really excited to be back we're gonna be in harlem so harlem has this really good restaurant fumo i went to my new york vlog watch it if you haven't watched it already and it was so freaking good so i'm so excited to bring my mom there if we make it there in time to like go but they have brunch apparently so i'm so excited to see because that restaurant was such a vibe and yeah but we're gonna leave soon I'm really excited okay we're starting out with nothing was the same this is personally my favorite drake album i like the way that he switches the flow like throughout the song so we're starting with this one hi guys okay so we're in maryland right now it's 8 58 we have like two more hours and like 30 minutes to go we're at Dunkin' donuts right now and guys when i tell you this is the nicest Dunkin' donuts ever it looks like a house bro i don't know this car looks like a house i'm gonna show y'all but it's crazy i don't even know if i'm gonna get anything because we're supposed to be going out to eat once we get there so i'm probably gonna get like a snack or something now nah, probably not i don't know i'll be getting full fast so i don't know but i'm about to walk in because i really gotta pee and look at me in the car talking to the camera we about to go in and i'm gonna show you look at it hold on i'm gonna try to back up so y'all can see it it's like a house. I don't know. It's like crazy to me. Anyways, I went to the bathroom. I'm excited. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go see Drake. I'm gonna go see Drake. Home hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went. Problems, hey. Uh, life ain't getting any easier. Fly, go, fly. It's just hard to find a love. Uh, who said it's cheaper to keep her? Guys, we're in New York. We're about to go to the food place. Well, we're about to go see Apollo. And then we're going to go to the food place. I'm so excited. Mom's right here. This is exciting. This is my world. It. It's 11 o'clock. The gates don't open until 7 o'clock. So this is gonna be crazy. Oh, we got to eat. So excited. Okay, we're walking to the restaurant. I'm gonna have to park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you keep it to me. We're, um, oh, what happened in Sepina? Yeah, we're about to walk. To film I'm so excited. Our reservation's for 12 30. We're 15 minutes early. You got the key, right? You can put it in my pocket. She got to go to the bathroom. What happened?
we're here. My mom's about to right now. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna get the avocado toast, but I don't know. Hi, good yourself. Doing well. Can I get you started with some water? Um, yeah, can we get water, please? We have a sparkling steel and tap. Can I just get regular? Two regulars? Two regulars? Yeah, perfect. Thank Any ice cream? Um, yes, please. I'm excited. I mean, I'm not nervous, but like, I like this place a lot. I'm excited to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're gonna be drunk. Yeah, I don't know. You think I'll be drunk? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna share a meal. We're getting chicken and waffles, and then we're getting margarita pizza, and then my mom's getting mimosas. <laughs> That's funny. And then we're getting mimosas, and I mean, no, she's getting <laughs> Hold on. She's getting mimosas, and I'm getting a spray. Also, a little area where we're sitting at is so cute. The bling. Go the other hand. The other hand looks better, I feel like. Guys, look, the sun. Oh, that's cool. Look, guys, this is Apollo right there. Oh, wait, like, can we retake that one? My spray. Okay, alright, that's fine. Guys, hold on, I feel so bad. Because why was I. Hold on. I feel so bad because why was I eating and all my food was dropping on my camera so now it's like stuff on it I feel so bad and I need to clean it. Yeah, we're at the gas station. It's 2.17. We're about to go to the Apollo and wait. Doors open at 7 o'clock. They told us to screenshot this email that's saying like, oh, we're supposed to be here. My name's on it. That's on the third. They closed off the street of the Apollo. So like, this is like legit. I'm so excited. I'm nervous. I'm not even nervous. I'm just like really excited. I'm so thankful and grateful that I'm able to go. Like, so grateful. I can't even do this in my life. I'm so excited. I'm gonna like, it's cold outside and stuff but, like, I don't care because I'm seeing Drake. Like, I don't care. Like, if y'all know, bro, I literally was sitting in the car. My dad went to 7 Eleven and the song Star 67 came on. And I was like, this is a good song. I'm going to become a Drake fan. Ever since then, favorite artist. Like, you can't tell me nothing. I'm really excited. Y'all understand. I mean, it kept getting canceled. And at first, I was like, I'm not even excited because it's like, it keeps getting canceled. But we're here. I'm literally like seven minutes away from the Apollo. And the thing says Drake on it. It literally says Drake at the Apollo. I'm like, it's crazy. But. Yeah, waiting for my mom. This jacket's so nice to my dad. Guys, we found parking. I asked the dude, I was like, <laughs> I said, can we park right here? He said, no, but you have my spot. I was like, all right. I looked so confused. He had to say it twice. I was like, what? Like, the way he said no was just so aggressive. But yeah, we got our spot. We're gonna have to get out. We're about to. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, that dude just rode by on a bike, and that bike was going fast. Like, that was a fast bite. Yeah, I'm gonna put something like a little baseball jersey over Actually, I'm gonna put it on now really fast. Ma, you got the um key? This is what I'm wearing. And then I'm gonna put the jacket over it because it's cold. Avi. You got the key? No, you haven't. So, <laughs> I was like, his face was like. He was like, say, say, look, that's what you get, that's what you get. You don't want, you don't want the, like, the beautiful black woman, you you talking junk. He's like, see, I was like, see, I could have had her come in here and vol, um, vlog and say, look how nice they were. Let me see. He's like, say, say, say. We're walking. That's my mom's outfit of the day. Burberry down, period. We're about to walk to the theater. What? It is her reason, guys. Like, so cold. Black leather glove, no seat. Buckles on the jacket, it's a leech. Nike crossbody, got a piece. It. Got a dance, but why do you love Drake? And uh, and and what is it about him that makes him one of your favorite artists? It's really on some street shit. I'm gonna show you how to get it. I was at 7-Eleven, and my dad left me in the car, and I heard the song "Star 67 and I was like, I'm gonna be a Drake fan because I love the song so much. So, yeah. <laughs> right foot up, that foot side. Guys, what you we just watched an interview with Sirius XM talking about Drake and stuff. She also did one too. Hey girl, so did me. <laughs> and they just said we're in the front. I'm so excited because I was like, that's Drake. Mom's right here. She's recording the whole thing. And they said a thousand people gonna be here. So like really close to the show. I'm excited. So we got our passes. I'm so, this is crazy. I'm gonna put it on really fast. Period. What the birthday? And it's my birthday. Yeah. This is crazy. Bro, really? Chili red hot peppers. Wait, what is chili red peppers? I mean red hot peppers. There you go. Atlanta, just went to Chili's. 
right foot slide. Basically, I'm saying either way, we about to slide. Hey, hey. Guys, we're in and we're literally at the front. I'm gonna scream. Like, look at this. No idea, bro. This is crazy. Like, I'm gonna scream. I'm waiting for my mom. She's in the bathroom. She got a cute outfit on. Thank you. Period. Where's my crew? I'm so excited, I cannot. I'm eating chips, they're so good. <laughs> I'd like to take you on a on a little journey.
You know, kind of something to do with me, but it's got everything to do with us because I feel like we've just been relating to each other for so long and to support us, listen, no matter what I make or no matter what mood we're in. I'm a motherfucking legend, it's too late for the... I'm a youngest nigga rapping on my... I'm about to lose my voice, but I'm gonna talk to y'all about it tomorrow. I'm just really tired. Just get that. You ready to order? Wait, hold on one second. Oh, you got right, a double? No yeah. Me and my mom both got double sliders from my castles, and then I got a Sprite and she had a Coke. Oh, that's spicy. I'm gonna lose my voice. Mm -hmm. I was screaming too much. Bro, that crap was crazy. I'm gonna do like a full review on it. My throat is so sore. After that last clip, I literally ate my food and I knocked out. I was so freaking tired. Like, I don't even remember going to sleep. That's how like crazy it was. But by the time I woke up, it was like a two-hour drive back. And then we were home. And guys, when I tell you that was literally the best concert ever, it was the best concert I've ever been to. And y'all know, I've been to so many concerts. Like, I've seen everybody. Like, Drake was the last person I had to check off on, like, the people to see list. And I literally checked it off last night. And it was just crazy. Because it's like, I'm not a concert to see Drake. I literally can cry right now. And I literally could have cried yesterday. Because it was just so freaking good, guys. Like, the people we were in line with were so freaking nice. This guy took his um best friend. And he was in line since 7 o'clock because he wanted to make sure his best friend was front row at the concert it was just so nice they were so nice and cool and then some dude behind us was from la so this other dude paid him to be his plus one and stuff so they went and yeah it was just a vibe like everybody was so cool he was joking around i was like don't talk to me if you ain't see drake in person but, and the boy the best friend that um took his best friend he was like no don't talk to me if you had to pay to see drake in person i was like pretty because yeah don't talk to me if you had to pay for a drake concert so we were in line from like three o'clock to 7 30 guys like it was so freaking cold my pinky toes was freezing so we waited in line and then we got through security and they gave us our tickets and stuff when i walked in it was just straight drake like drake at apollo everywhere i was like oh my god like, i was just like bro i literally like i walked in and i stepped back and i was like oh my god this is real life like i'm really about to see drake right now and i took a picture of like when you walked to walk into the stage and it says drake at the apollo after i took that picture so i was like do you want a shirt i turn over OVO Apollo shirts. They were giving out for freaking free. For free. Me and my mom got in line so fast. They punched our tickets and they gave us the free shirts. I was like, let me show the shirt. This is the shirt. It says Apollo at the bottom in red and then it has the OVO symbol. And then in the back it says Drake at the Apollo. No, it says Drake live from the Apollo January 21st and 22nd and then like Series XM and Sound 42 and stuff. Guys, I got this for free. And mind you, it was so funny because we were all online talking about merch and I'm like, I'm trying to get merch. I don't care how much the merch is. I'm going to buy merch. This is a once in a lifetime thing that you're going to see Drake in concert. So it's like, I need to get merch. I don't care. I need to remember the moment. And they gave us freaking free merch. Free concert, free merch. So then after we walked in, there's lines of people with drinks. They're giving out drinks to y'all. And I'm underage, so I can't drink, obviously. But like, people that were overage, that's so lit. Like, you just walk in and you're getting free drinks. I was like, 
So then I was walking, 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 pull your tickets and I said orchestra. And I look at them thinking it's the middle section. They're like, no, you're down there. I'm down there. I walked where I was at. Guys, front row. I was freaking front row at the Drake concert. Oh my gosh, I could have screamed. I stood there. I was like, I'm not leaving until my mom comes back because my mom did the bathroom. I stood there, mom came. Then we switched. I went to the bathroom. They had candy in the freaking bathroom. So then I'm walking back from the bathroom and I realized, I was like, dang, I don't want to wear this big coat. Like, I'm going to get high. I already know how I'd be. Like, I'd be getting high. I'd be excited. I knew I was going to be singing everything. So I was like, I'm going to get high. I'm going to jump around. So I gave them my jacket because they had like the little coat. What is it called? The coat check? I don't know. Like, when you give them the jacket, they give the ticket. Got myself in the pocket. Went back to the spot. And then we were just standing in the front vibing. They had a DJ and the DJ's wearing this really cool, like, it's basically like this, but it was black and it was a hoodie version of like this. And it was really cool. It was really nice. And he was playing some bops. Like, we were just getting lit. We were like, mm, mm, mm. Then me and my mom went to these girls. But, um, yeah, they were really nice. And they were like, we were just like being all together, vibing, chilling. And then my mom went to get drinks and then she come back. And then at 9 o'clock he started. Like, he was on time. He was perfect. This is a professional man, guys. Like, he was on time. He started. Guess what the opening song was? Over My Dead Body was the opening song. When I tell you, I could have cried right on the spot. Like, I was like, this is not real. This is not real life. And guys, the concert, like, this man, like, bro, he just kept going and going and going and going and going. I'm like, bro, he was not stopping. He's playing hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. Oh, wait, I didn't even tell y'all. I did interviews with Sirius XM and stuff. So first we were in line and it came up did an interview with them and then these other girls came and we went to the red carpet and did an interview and they was like what are you most excited to hear and i kept saying jimmy cooks because that song is so good love that song so much and i just feel like that would be such a live thing to listen to in person and i listen to that song like every day i'm not even on you i listen to that song every freaking day so when i started playing it i was like like i really could have cried like i was just like wow this is so crazy i can't believe i'm on a great concert and then guys tell me why my phone died and me having the best time of my life was like i don't even care i'm like i don't care then diplomats came out and i was like dang i was like i need to get my phone because i feel like they're gonna pay jimmy cooks maybe at the tour's end this is before they paid jimmy cooks i was like dang i need to get my phone because like bro i need to listen to it so i asked the girl alex can i get um portable charger she gave it to me my phone was charging lit recorded i'm just <sighs> hit after hit after hit after hit after hit i'm just having the best time of my life best time of my life i'm not even exaggerating right now i was literally like oh my god also guys he did three opportunities, changes right three outfit changes i started losing my voice before he even did his second outfit change like that's how good it was that's how much i was singing i was just having the best time of my life like oh god i really just do not take anything for granted i'm so grateful for everything in my life like i don't understand like i pray every day and i thank god every day for like everything i have and all the like, opportunities i get to experience but this had to be like top top five things i've ever experienced in my life because it's great guys me i've been the biggest drake fan since i was eight like I just really love Drake so much, and it's like crazy because I listen to the music every day. And people always be like, "What you listen to, Drake? Drake? Who's your favorite artist, Drake? Who's your favorite rapper, Drake?" Like I've always been such a Drake girl, so it's like seeing him in person. Like me, out of all people, won the tickets, and seeing him in person was just like, <sighs> guys, it was so surreal. And then like it's crazy because they canceled. I don't know. Okay, when I won the tickets, I'm like, I'm not gonna post about it because what if something happens? Or like I don't post about anything anyways before it happens. But I won the tickets in like October, not October, like beginning of November. One of the tickets, the show was supposed to be 11. Went down to New York, got canceled. They rescheduled it to December 6th. Went down there, got canceled. So by the time they was like, okay, we're rescheduling it for January 21st. I'm like, bro, I was like, I wasn't even excited. I wasn't even talking about it because I was just like, bro, like, what if it gets canceled? I'm not even excited anymore. Like, what if this is like not gonna happen? So then they sent an email, another email, and it was like, okay, well we're blocking down the street, so I need to meet at this corner, the seventh third. I'm like, oh snap, like this is really about to happen. So I, me and my mom went, and it was so much fun. Like it was really so much fun. And I think they canceled it in December because they were saying like the stage production like the stage wasn't set up how like he wanted it to or like the production like drake wants to have the best setup ever and it's just not they're not doing it fast enough i guess now so they um what was the okay so the email basically was saying like the production of it is not ready so they don't want to have a concert they don't i guess they don't want to have half it turns out they removed the seats out the bottom floor of the apollo and then the stage was like it was like screen doors like it was like a different like scenery every time so he started off in his bedroom and then he started off like um and New York, I think, maybe. I don't know if it was supposed to be New York or Toronto. I don't know where he was supposed to be at, but he was somewhere. And, no, I'm pretty sure it was New York. I'm pretty sure it was New York. So, I think he was in New York. And he was just telling his story. And then, like, at the end, it was, like, a big, huge Apollo sign. And, like, the letters were flashing. It was, like, blue, red. It was just crazy, guys. Like, it was literally 
so freaking crazy. Best concert of my freaking life. Um, the Diplomats came out, and my mom was going crazy. She was like, <gasps> she was just, she was turned. I was like, oh my god, it's so funny seeing her like have so much fun. It was so much fun, guys. And then Twenty One came out. Like that was already a shoe, and like I already knew Twenty One was gonna come out, so I wasn't really that surprised. But it was really cool how he did it. Like he came out of the bodega that they had set up on stage. That the Diplomats came out. But like the visuals, the lights, the speakers amazing his mic was messing up a little bit like towards the end but like other than that it was perfect like it was just so good everything was so good everything was freaking free too so it's like dang i don't think nobody i mean i already knew draco was a go but this really just confirms to me that he's a go and he's gonna put on a show and another thing that he kept saying was thank you he kept saying like in the beginning he was like thank you guys for being here thank you guys like this means world to me this is like a gratitude tour like i really just want to thank y'all because i really stuck it out with me and then, like, towards the middle, he was saying, like, I know how it's the cool thing to be, like, F Drake, this and a third, but, like, I'm so thankful for y'all. And, like, towards the end, he did this whole speech about how he's so thankful and, like, how he can't believe he's here and stuff. And it was just, like, raw. Like, it was so much fun. And I loved the intimacy of it because it was only, like, a thousand people. Yeah, I don't know. It was crazy. Also, guys, at the balcony, Odell came out. Michael Rubin was there and Lily Chi or Che, I don't know what her name is. She was there and I took a video of them and I recorded them and they watched my story. And that was so funny. But, um, yeah, Michael Rubin. When I'm famous, you're gonna be with me. We're gonna be going to shows like that because just wait. No, but it was crazy. Also, I Spice was there. I seen her. Um, I don't know why I turned my head, but I turned. I'm like, that's I Spice, and I'm like, I like I Spice. I mean, she's cool. I think her look is cool. I like her songs. They're catchy. So crazy. It was so crazy. I cannot believe I went to a great concert. Like, I don't even know, guys. I'm so thankful. I'm so like. I don't take not like, I'm so serious when I say that I don't take nothing for granted because I'm really I'm so thankful for everything that happens in my life and I'm just thankful for y'all and I'm just thankful I'm just glad I can record and like look back on things and like oh such a great show I'm so happy thank you Drake thank you SiriusXM Sound 42 all y'all for picking me to come to the concert because man when I seen that I was like bro there's no way me out of all people I'm the one takes to see Drake like bro everybody was like bro of course she would because I don't know I'm just like such a big Drake fan and even in my spam. For the longest time in my bios, I'll be Drake Graham activist. Like, dreams really do come true, guys. Like, this is so crazy to me. Like, I'm so freaking thankful, and I had the best time ever, and that was so great. Like, me and Mama had the best time ever. It was so much fun. The ride there was fun. The food we ate before was fun. Everything just worked out perfectly, and I had the best time ever, and I'm so thankful. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this far, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Black leather glove, no secret. Buckles on the jacket, it's a leech. Nike crossbody, got a piece. Got a dance, but it's really on some street shit.